Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalia, and I hope that you consider joining me and the rest of my crazy family here. And hit that subscribe button. So if you live in New York, then you know that last weekend from when I'm filming this video, it was the Puerto Rican Day Parade and 116th Street Festival. I did not make it to the parade this year. I don't typically go to the parade. I I'm sorry if you guys wanted to see me vlog that, but I, I did not participate this year. I mean, it was just really hot. I was kind of hungover. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it 100% real with you guys. I did, however, go to the festival. I vlogged very little of that, though, because it was so crowded this year. Like, you could not even walk. It was just insane. Every year it's insane, and I act like I don't know it's gonna be insane, but it was insane. Take it from me. With that being said, considering that it was a big day for us New Yorkers, I did spend a lot of time with my family and friends and got to talking about, you know, life like you always do when you're drinking, having a good time. You talk about life, you talk about, you know, your problems, you talk about things that happened when you grew up. And I really started thinking like there are some things that happen in our lives that only us Latinos really understand. I wrote this on Twitter the other day and this is totally like left field kind of sorta but I went to that Wisin and Del concert that was also last weekend here in New York City and I was so excited. You guys already know I love Wisin and Yandel. I featured you know their music in a bunch of my videos and so I was super pumped and in my job like my real life job I do not work with other Latinos. I am the only Puerto Rican, the only person of Latin descent, Latin anything in my job. I'm explaining to my two co-workers that I'm going to see a reggaeton concert and I'm super stoked. It's gonna be me and my mom and we're gonna have a great time. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go see some reggaeton. And one of my co-workers is like, oh wow, I love me some Sean Paul. Yeah, my face, exactly. So it inspired me to film this video talking about some things that only us Latinos seem to understand. And if you understand this too and you are not of Latin descent, please let me know down below because it is so intriguing to me to see other people from other cultures really get us and what happens here and here and here. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. So when I wanted to film this video, I got to thinking of some things that were really a part of my childhood, my culture growing up, and this isn't something that's necessarily Puerto Rican. I think all Latinos are gonna understand every point that I make in this video. And this first one is something that was on every weekend, every Saturday specifically, at about 7 p.m. in my household, in my grandma's household. You couldn't talk because everyone just wanted to pay attention to Sábado Gigante. Sábado Gigante was a variety show that aired on Univision Channel 41 here in New York or in the United States. And it was just a variety show that included skits, it included contests, it included tragic stories or, or, or I guess uplifting stories of reuniting kids with their long lost parents or their long lost siblings or their long lost whatever. And Sábado Gigante was just a huge, huge deal. I think for every Latin American household, it was just a staple. And not to mention, Don Francisco has looked the same since I was like seven. I don't know what it is, but it's true. Whatever's in our blood does not crack, honey, because Don Francisco literally, like, I don't, let, let's, let's Google how old Don Francisco is, because I swear to God, like, that man, God bless him. I don't know what he's drinking, but I want some. Don Francisco is 77 years old, and I swear he's looked the same since like the 1990s, 2000, and right now. One thing that I definitely hate doing is one of my biggest pet peeves, obviously it has to get done, but it's definitely not my favorite, is doing laundry. Especially considering the fact that I live in an apartment here in New York and I do not have a washer and dryer. In my building you're actually not allowed to have a washer and dryer, so that includes me taking all my dirty clothes downstairs, going to the laundromat, coming back, bringing them up all those stairs, and ain't nobody want to do that all the time. And obviously, growing up, my mom taking care of two kids did not have time to do that either. So what would she do? She would wash our clothes 
and hang them out the window. Now I know there are probably a lot of cultures that grew up doing this too, but here in New York it never really made sense to me. Like in the summertime, okay, or in Puerto Rico, okay, it's perfect, it's hot all year round, you know your clothes are gonna dry pretty quickly. But like my mom would do that like all year round. I'd be like, mommy, it's snowing, like why are you putting our clothes out there? And she'd be like, ay nena, déjala, se va a secar anyway. Like what? It's gonna take like 50 years and then not to mention the amount of socks and underwears and God knows what else I've lost over the years because it would just fall. Like obviously if the wind hits a certain way then it would fall and that would be the end of that sock. And then my mom would end up yelling at me for wearing mismatched socks but it's like mommy, you you blew all of them away. <laughs> like I don't even know where they are. They flew into the wind. God knows where they are right now. Another thing that just happened in my life right now, actually as of yesterday, I'm filming this video on Sunday, June 17th, and yesterday, happy Father's Day by the way, yesterday my best friend had a baby. That's my best friend, and so her son is gonna be my nephew. I'm gonna be Titi, Titi Natalia, Titi Nati. Like that is just me. And it got me thinking about how many aunts and uncles I have growing up that aren't really blood related. And then I remembered how traumatizing that was to find out that your cousin is not really your cousin but you grew up with them and you feel like they're your cousin. It is just crazy and I've only known Latinos to do that. And I've seen people introduce their best friend's kids or so and so kids as this is so and so son, this is my best friend's son. Like no, this is my nephew, okay? And if he dares to call me anything other than Titi, like it's, it's papao time, okay? So along with that, all the aunts and uncles and everyone in your life, how many times have you guys been to a quinceañera, sweet 16, a wedding, a funeral, a party in so-and-so's house, and you all of a sudden meet this family, this actual blood family that you've never met or heard of in your entire life? Like, I can't even tell you the amount of times my mom will call me over at a party. Mira, nena, Nati, ven acá, ven acá, esta tu prima, oh my god, I haven't seen her in 15 years, we go way back, oh my god. And then at the same time, my mom would try to be like really slick with it. Ay, nena, forgive me, por favor, perdóname. You know, estoy vieja, pero what's your name again? But I thought that that was my cousin that you knew from 15 years ago that you go way back with. Ay, yeah, nena, of course. You know that's Tata's niece's daughter. That's your cousin. Tell me it's not only me. Like, please, tell me that you guys have met your cousin's cousin's daughter at a party and that's all of a sudden your prima, your primo, and there's a big family reunion there. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Just a little rundown of some things that have came into my head in like the last week and I just wanted to share it with you guys and see if I was alone in this. I hope that I'm not. But if you wanna see more videos like this, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below for whatever you guys wanna see next. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.